All right, it's time to make our view for the for the tic tac toe game. All right, so let's take a look at, at our specifications first. All right, so you can see the screen here and then some 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 uh, specifics. Uh, so first of all, so we we are just going to fix it at, at three by three. So this is not a sort of a totally general game of, of tic tac toe, just three by three. Uh, it's going to be centered in the screen. All right, so so right here, um, and we're going to have a twenty pixel margin, uh, twenty dps all the way around. All right, so on on our sides here. Uh, we also are going to have the state of the game is going to be um, is going to be up here. So as we can imagine, that guy is going to be a text view. Um, we want a 24 point. We want it bold so it shows up a little bit better. Uh, the game state is one of these various things. Uh, good to know because these are going to turn into our strings that we use in our program. Uh, we have a new game button below, and it's going to be right aligned with the table. So we want these these guys right here to align right up on the right, and. Uh, Relative layouts are going to let us do that. Uh, we want red background. In fact, this is going to be Russ Holman red uh, right here, and we'll have some gray text. I'll give you give you those. And then finally, um, the buttons here. I, I just fixed these at a hundred um, hundred pixels high. It was an easy way, um, at least on my screen, to to make it look like a square. Um, you can choose something different if you want on the device that you're using. Uh, for mine, it worked out to, well to have 72 pixel high um, text for the X's and O's. Okay. Again, you can see that we got stuff centered, we got stuff right aligned, we have this guy above the other one. Definitely a, a relative layout um, to use. All right, so um, I'm gonna give you the strings in this one. Whoops. I'm gonna give you the strings uh, because they, they actually need to match what's in the model. So the mo model is actually gonna re return different strings. Um, so we're gonna have to have to make these guys line up. So what you're gonna wanna do is to, to grab these uh, right off of here. So feel free to just copy and paste them um, off here and into your program. I'll do that now. Okay, so I'm open up values, strings.xml, and I'll just take this whole thing and, and, and just replace it, okay? Um, so I got new game text here, and I got the, the different game states, um, and then I have something including a tie game, and then I have a space just as a little space holder for, the, um, for when there's nothing there. Uh, let's do the same thing with with colors. Not too worried about this. Um, so colors. Uh, what I chose to do to get uh, sort of Rose Holman colors was I actually set the the um, the primary colors that they gave me just to black, um, and then I added a background color. This is Rose Holman red. So this this eighty zero zero, um, and then the the accent color I just used was a light gray. So so red, green, and blue. Um, in equal proportions uh, is going to give you something that's grayscale. So I should just use C. So let's go ahead and, and do that for our um, for our colors. All right. So inside colors.txt, uh, again, I just set the, the primary and this other guy here just to black. So I'll set these guys to zero. Um, I guess this accent color here, this is the one that I used for was the light gray. And then I'll create one more, which is my background color. And we'll let this guy be Rosalman in red. So that's 80, double zero, double zero. It looks good. Uh, all right, we're ready to start building the thing. Um, just to give you a heads up kind of where we're going with things is, is that the XML is going to look like, uh, is going is gonna to have a relative layout with basically three things in it. Right. So the, the buttons are just going to be a table layout. Uh, and then we're going to have a text view above it, and then a button below it. All right. So, so just like that, really those three things. And we'll drill down into each one. But essentially, the the layout here, uh, table layout, is going to have three rows. Uh, each row is going to have three buttons. Right. And then the what we're going to do is we're going to give them all IDs that are hard coded to their their position in the array. Right. So zero zero uh, is going to be the upper left one. Zero one. So row zero, column one. Is going to be the second one, and then and so on for for those nine. Uh, so let's see, um, table layout again. We're, we're using this for our matrix of button. Um, there's going to be some things we're going to have to know about this. How we're going to get them to, to stretch out and everything, uh, to to fill our fill our space. Um, so we're going to we're going to set the the width and the height. It's going to be centered. We're going to give it a margin as we said, and there's going to be this this stretch columns right here that we will set to do the right thing. So I think it's time to, to just go in and, and make this thing. So let's do it. Uh, in my layout, activity main, formatted it. 
let's go to town. Uh, your choice as far as what order you do things. Um, I'm going to put things in as I remember them and take a look at it and see how, how it's coming. Uh, so I know that, that my relative layout, I'm going to have to add a, a color in here. Uh, how nice of it to even preview that color for me. Um, so we'll go ahead and put that guy on there. Uh, wow, really didn't want that guy in here. Okay. Uh, and let's see, so I got a text view. I might be able to use that, but let's see. I want a table layout first. So I'm going to grab a table layout and see if I can get this guy centered. Um, nah, there we go, center. Center that guy right there. All right. Uh, looks great. Table layout is going to have rows in it. Uh, so inside this guy, let's see if I can pull in a row, table row. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, now if I if I pull this in here, what's it going to do? All right, so it actually gave me, wow, it gave me a lot of table rows nested and everything. Let's undo that. I think that that when we try to use a table row, that this is telling you like something about how many how many rows you want. So I'm going to try three here. See if that does anything better. Uh, so now we have table row with three still nested. I'm not quite sure why it did the nesting there. Um, but really all, all I need is those three. And it turns out, when it really comes down to it, what I'm going to do is just make one. Because I can I can copy and paste that one. All right, so let's see. It looks like I'm going to mess something up here. Uh, what, what do we got? Um, so I have my relative layout. Let's see, and then I have a table layout right here. And then a table row, oops, an extra closing tag. I'll close that guy. So drag and drop isn't, isn't always the, the best thing, but, but it often helps us with, with stubbing in some things. Uh, all right, uh, the table layout is, is going to be centered. Um, let's see, I don't need to refer to it directly in code, um, but I am going to have things that are laid out relative to it. So I'm going to give it an ID, uh, control space, and we'll just uh, call it table layout. It's the only one Don't to worry about it. Um, so I'm going to have a, a, a margin around this guy. So layout, uh, layout margin. It's going to be 18, and we said it's going to be 18 uh, DPs, like that. And I also want the the uh, it to stretch the columns. Well, we'll come back to that in a minute because we probably don't understand why we need it yet. Okay, so that's good. Um, what else do I have? Let's let's see. Again, nothing's nothing much so far. Uh, let's go ahead and make a table row. And so the width and the height uh, are going to match the parent. That's what it thinks. Uh, let's in, inside here. Let's put a button, and if we just click button, let's see. Sometimes it's it's good about about stubbing in the the height and the width. The height on this guy is going to be again a hundred dp, like so. You need to give it a width, so the width is going to be. Um, I'm going to have have this guy right here. Um, let's see. Well, I might be able to get away without anything. I'm going to put wrap content for now, but but I think the, the table layout uh, stretch columns is going to handle that. Um, it's going to get some text in here. So let's go ahead and let's set the text to be the string, uh, just the space. Uh, what else do we need? I need a text size. Oops, colon text size. And text size we said was going to be uh, 72 Oops, 72 scale independent pixels, like so. All right, and it, it's going to need an ID so I can refer to it in code. So Android uh, ID equals, let's see, ooh. Um, so ID, and we'll say that this first guy is button 00 in the, in the upper left. And I'm going to take a look at it. I have my one button here. So that's decent. So let's go ahead and I'm going to find the easiest to copy and paste this guy. So grab that guy on your clipboard, paste, paste, and change your button uh, IDs. Since there are three of them are, are identical except for the IDs, I think that, that makes sense to do. And there we see our that we have our table row as, as so. Um, pretty decent. Uh, what else do we need to do? So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to grab my whole table row. 
got it formatted here. I'm gonna grab the whole row on my clipboard and I'm ready to, to do this whole thing here. So paste to the, the second row, paste to get the third row. Uh, it's complaining about duplicate IDs, but let's, so let's go ahead and fix those. So I want up, this is my middle row right now. So my rows are gonna be one, columns will stay zero, one, two. And then the last one, one uh, excuse me, two for the bottom one, two and two. Take a look at this guy. Uh, not too bad. It's not actually really filling the the um, what I want it to. So that's a setting that I need to do back up in the table layout is to set an Android and it is a it's a, a parameter stretch columns. And this will tell us if you want to stretch them to fit. And then here you would give which columns you want it to fit. Uh, I want all of them to be stretched equally. So I'm going to use a wildcard right here. So this uh, just use the, the asterisk. And we should see that that, that, that fills up here. Okay. Um, for some devices, that'll work out nicely. Um, depend others, maybe, maybe not so much. But I'm, I'm, that's what I'm going to use for this. Uh, our text is up here. That's not a good, a very good place for it. In fact, our our our, um, our board is up too high as well. So what happened? Uh, center horizontal and ver vertical. Uh, yeah, it was supposed to do that. Let's let's try moving the text view down. So I, what I want to do is actually take this guy and move it below my table because I want its its location to be relative to the table. Uh, so what I'll say for, for this guy is that it is colon layout. Uh, I want it above the table. So even though it's above doesn't mean it goes first, right? It, it depends on what's anchored, right? So the table layout is anchored in the middle of the screen and then the, the text is relative to it. It's above it, so I have to put it later so it can refer back to something that already exists. Um, so it's gonna be above uh, ID, and this is gonna be our, oops, keeps doing this on me today. Uh, ID uh, table layout. All right, and if we look at that, that should be should be a little bit better, except that that guy is still showing up too high. Um, why is this? What did I mess up? I'm sure I messed up something here. Yeah, I think I see it here. So um, my width and my height of my my table, um, I'm having these guys match the parent, and that that's. Uh, it's trying to make the table fill the whole screen, and I certainly don't want the height uh, to fill the whole screen. So let's try that guy. Yeah, there we go, it moves it down. Okay, and this guy shows up above. Uh, let's keep it above, but let's go ahead and move it over so that it's centered horizontally. And that should stub that in for us. Uh, let's, so let's fill out, finish the, the, the text view here. So we gotta give it some text. Certainly we want some some all right, uh, text, um, I'm gonna have it be the string. Uh, it's, we're gonna start off with, with X's turn. Uh, I need size on this. So text size on this guy is gonna be uh, 24 SP. And then in the spec I said that I wanted it bold. So text uh, style is gonna be bold. And see, see what this guy looks like. Uh, oops, I don't have an ID either. So let's go ahead and give this an ID so we can refer to it. So the ID is just going to be again. I'll use reuse the same name that I used in the in one of my other apps. Uh, the the message text. Let's see what this guy looks like. All right. So this is uh this is better. So I'm going to go ahead and build the project and, and take a look at this. Uh, whoops. I need to check the color too. It's supposed to be gray. Um, Android text color equals color, and that was going to be, I think that was the accent color. Yep, that's it. Uh, there, there we go, that looks better. All right, one more button to put in, and we'll, we'll be done. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab a button, and, and that's actually not too bad. You see it, it says that it, that's aligned right, and it's below the table layout, which is really what I want. Um, and again, that just put out this, put in the, the uh, the particular properties on the on this button is so. Uh, so what do we got? So it's it's going to wrap things. That's okay in this one. I don't want it to take up the entire bottom or anything. Uh, the text on this, I think we had uh, a string for that. 
And let's see, did we or, or not? I guess. So it should be the, the new game one. Uh, we have an ID on it uh, that, that's called button. Um, I could be a little bit more descriptive here. We call it the new game button, uh, like so. And that's probably good. All right, looks, uh, looks pretty decent to me. Uh, let's review, make sure we didn't miss anything. Uh, so we have a layout, a layout margin here. Um, we talked about stretching the columns in, um, in our table. Uh, and we gave it the, the, the right uh, the right height. Um, yeah, that's right, I've forgotten this. So, so so technically we didn't need to give it the width there because of the stretch columns. So we could have could have just omitted the, the buttons width uh, you know altogether if we wanted to. So that's all we got for this lesson. See you next time.